hello my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly uh middle of the month love readings this is going to be for gemini sun moon rising and venus i did want to get a little more clear insight so we're going to be doing the shells right after that we will be jumping into your cards so let's see what spirit has for you gemini sun moon rising and venus in regards to your love and romance let's see what spirit wants to communicate I want to wish everyone um, out there a happy Yule, uh, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. May this new year bring to you guys blessings, abundance, bountiful experiences, and growth, okay? All right, let's see what Spirit has for us here. All right. So right at the center, as you guys can see here, uh, this is in regards to your current position. Now, I do see a lot of blockages. For a lot of you guys, you may be experiencing blockages in regards to every other aspect in your life other than relationships. Now, what they're telling me is that you guys are currently experiencing blockages. This is something that has been reoccurring in the past couple of months. But quickly, all of that starts to remove all those blockages. I see you guys very focused. Um, a lot of you guys are going back to that of the home life. So I feel that Gemini's, um, the last couple of years, you guys have been experiencing a lot of wisdom, a lot of experience from the past, uh, learning from past experiences. And I see you guys more determined or more focused. Uh, they are clearly indicating here a home structure. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, for the end of December going into January, a lot of you guys are going to be thinking of the future, building homes, building families. Um, a lot of you guys making decisions in regards to cutting your losses when it comes to relationships. For others of you, you could be walking away from relationships that are basically not really working for you and for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship i see you guys really putting effort and energy it's almost like uh, bringing a very close knit um to the family dynamic and i do see you guys very focused and putting a lot of energy and effort there um for some of you guys it could be revisiting the past uh this is directly connected to um parents to the mother figure the father figure the family dynamic as a whole, I do see you guys more proactive in trying to bring um, any loose ends or anything from the past that um, that you guys were holding on to uh, in regards to grudges, in regards to anything like that, that affected you. I see you guys healing and overcoming and over and that also creating like an empowerment for you guys um, and being able to turn the page uh, with those connections, either um, those connections being healed or for others of you, it could just represent like as an example, if you guys were not very close to the father figure or mother figure, I do see you guys healing that aspect of yourself and really trying the best to be the best that you're possible that you're possibly able to be. Um, and this could be again, a very connection with that of what your family dynamic is or what you're wanting um, to bring your kids um, or to raise your kids in. So I do see you guys, again, like I said, um, a lot of reconnection with past from uh, past relationships. Uh, for some of you guys, it's that of the family dynamic, where your family's from, where you're from, where you come from. Um, a lot of healing of wounds. All of this is coming up. And I feel that for the past, I want to say two months, you guys have been experiencing this. Um, and I think that this is a very, very good thing because we're able to see, um, am I teaching my kids um, a certain, like very, am I being too strict with them? Are, are they growing up feeling a, a type of way that perhaps I felt about my parents? It's a lot of reflecting, a lot of Again, like I said, wisdom is what they're saying. So I do see you guys reconnecting. I do see a lot of healing happening. And I also see um, for the very near future, it's almost like you guys are paving the way or you guys are much more focused than you were in the past when it comes to relationships, 
when it comes to marriage and when it comes to partnerships as a whole. So that's definitely a good thing. Now, in the past and passing, I do see um, there was some, there was a situation that was happening in regards to relationship. Uh, for those of you guys that are in a long-term relationship, uh, perhaps you, there was some type of distance involved. For some of you, it could have been like a new transition, moving or thinking of moving or uh, changing residency. I do see that a lot in a lot of the signs lately. Um, and this could be just residue energy of trying to release anything that is no longer helping you and wanting to start fresh, wanting to start new. And with that um, comes dealing with past traumas, with past, again, a lot of healing is what they're telling me, but it's almost like you guys are cementing the way for the future. And I do see you guys going towards more stable grounds. Um, for some of you guys, I do, exp I, I am seeing that um, for those of you guys that have been experiencing like health issues in regards to family members or in regards to the family dynamic. It could be a partner. Um, it could be like children. It could be a uh, mother, father, anything that has to do with your family dynamic. I do see progress and I do see that there is um, a lot of healing that's happening right now in your present. Take that as a sign, Gemini, and be feeling very blessed. Uh, continuously keep reminding yourself of how blessed you are because it's almost like you're going to be experiencing a showering of blessings and it's spirit wanting to show you with your very own eyes um, that they do love you and that they're looking out for you and that they're helping you through this process. So don't ever feel like you're alone or don't ever feel like um, things only happen to you. What they're saying is that this was needed because going into January, going into 2020, there's going to be major transformations. And for a lot of you guys with Saturn being in Jupiter, which we'll talk about in the January readings, but those two, um, those two signs, those two planets um, are very much about longe longevity with Saturn. And then Jupiter is nothing but bountiful blessings. So again, whatever it is you've been working very hard or diligently towards, uh, you will definitely be seeing the results of that very quickly, okay? All right, let's get into your reading, Gemini. Let me just pick up the shells here. <clears throat> I hope you guys don't mind my broken nail. <laughs> oh, it has been crazy, you guys. We are extremely blessed, um, extremely tired, <laughs> I might add. Um, but very excited for 2020. Okay. So in regards to your love and romance, your first card here, see, wow, this is your current position. So the wheel of the year represents obviously the astrological movement and planet alignments that are currently happening. Of course, with Yule, we're talking about going into the next phase of our lives. And the wheel of the year as a current position could represent, um, starting to see movement or starting to see progress in regards to anything that has to do with hard labor or hard work that you've been really putting effort towards. Like I mentioned, for a lot of you Geminis, I want to say the past couple of years, um, you guys were a little bit more flighty, not really looking towards the future or not really making longevity plans. Now, last year and this year, I have seen a uh, momentous change from you guys in reference to thinking of the future, wanting to create bonds that are long lasting, wanting to build families, looking, um, basically what you guys are doing is what I would consider, what I would call uh, preparing the nest. And it's like, you guys are ready. You guys are, for some of you guys, this could even represent um, getting to the point of your life of making a, a transformative decision. For some of you guys, it could be marriage, like legally getting married. For others of you, it could be um, taking it to the next step relationship-wise, getting married, engaged, uh, that type of energy. And the will of the year is nothing but blessings. It's like finally being able to see, yes, we've been at the bottom, we've struggled, we've had difficulties, but you start to see an up and up in a very positive aspect. Now, the challenge here, what's challenging you in the present is the nine of wands. So the nine of wands is a very tired energy it's an energy where when do i get to the point of enough is enough or when do i get to the point 
of not having to put so much effort and starting to see like rewards starting to so I see a lot of you guys a little bit anxious or a little bit concerned about not being able to see the fruits of your labor. Um, but again, with the will of the year in the current position, that's coming for you, Gemini. See, you have the magician card here. The magician is all about knowing. It's all about creating. It's all about, yeah, you have ideas. You have a ton of ideas, <laughs> a ton of things that you want to accomplish. What are you doing uh, that is pushing you or that is taking you to the next level? Are you taking action or are you procrastinating, sitting there and waiting for things to um, unfold? What they're telling you is take action now. Now is the time to make moves. Now is the time. If you've been in a relationship, as an example, and it's a back and forth type of energy, what is it that you're doing? Are you making it clear that you want to take it to the next level? And if you're not sure if you're wanting it to take to the next level or not, then perhaps you need to be honest with yourself. Perhaps you're not ready. And if you're not ready, that's absolutely okay. But you need to be completely honest with your partner and not have them sit there and wait for you to make up your mind. Um, this is something I tell my clients all the time. If you've been dealing with the person for more than six months, if you are unsure of what you feel for them, chances are you need to move on. And the reason I say that is because when you feel a connection, you cannot force yourself to feel something. And if you don't feel something strong for them, um, you need to be honest with yourself. Like I said, uh, when it comes to connection, especially of that of love and relationships, you just feel that. You can't force yourself. Uh, you can't say, say, I'm going to sit there and wait for this person, see if, you know, I have stronger feelings for them. Um, you just know it. So again, you know, stop procrastinating and making decisions now or making choices now, I should say. Now, what's coming towards you is the nine of pentacles. So I see this card as the singlehood card, but I feel that what they're saying is you guys are going to be experiencing a very bountiful uh, energy. It's a, a momentous energy, no longer struggling financially, being able to share, being able to give more than anything. Um, the nine of pentacles is all about abundance and having so much or having enough that you're willing to share. And the best thing that I can tell you when it comes to finding the financial stability is that remembering that giving brings more to you. Um, so the more you share, the more you do for people that perhaps need it, the more rewards will come to you. And this is something that um, I'm not seeing the nine of pentacles as singlehood, although for some of you guys, we can touch base with that, but this is more of a feeling of not being stressed or not being worried or your relationship not being affected because you guys are going to be experiencing a pretty abundant type of energy, um, being able to have, being able to do. Now what's crowning you in the present is the four of cups. And the Four of Cups does speak a little bit about boredom. For some of you guys, again, that uh, procrastination that we were talking about, uh, sitting there and waiting for things to happen, now is the time to take action, Gemini. Now, for those of you guys that are single and have been single for a while, for some of you guys, you may be experiencing the feeling of frustration because perhaps you thought in your head at some point by now um, you would have been married or you would have had a long-term committed relationship or you had certain ideas about where you should be at this point in your life and what spirit is telling you is that your luck is quickly about to change but do not feel stressed do not feel like time is of the essence right now because when we feel that type of way what we tend to do is we tend to rush into relationships that are not good for us and the reason for it is because we have so much love to give that we're very anxious. So the people that give us the opportunity, it's like you want to jump right away into commitments and things like that. And what Spirit is telling you is, no, no, no. Use this time right now. Feel blessed that you don't have the responsibilities of that of long-term relationship to find yourself to understand exactly what it is that you want and what you expect from a relationship. And... Make sure that you have connections. Make sure that you have things in common because only then will you be able to cement and strengthen a connection that could turn into something long-term, okay? So don't 
don't give the the day or the time of day to people that you're just because you're bored because then you're quickly going to find yourself exactly what I'm saying. You're quickly going to find yourself feeling stuck or feeling like there's no progress or there's no movement. And the reason for that is because you are actively walking towards something that you know is not going to bring you something long-term or happiness. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, again, like I said, um, you're quickly moving away from the feeling of stuckness or the feeling of not being able to see progress. For some of you guys, it could be a representation of your partner being more loving, perhaps they're being more open or more communicative, things that they've never told you before, they're being completely honest. And this is like letting you know that they are emotionally available or that they're ready for that commitment. Now, the advice here for you, Gemini, <clears throat> is the lover's card. So the lover's card is, again, uh, feeling very, It's I see you guys like being very protective of your relationship. For some of you guys, you could have experienced um, that perhaps a lot of people were getting too involved in your relationship or rumors or things that were creating more tension between your partnership and you. And you got to the point of having to walk away from that. For some of you guys, like I said, uh, changing residency, creating some type of distance, but it's healthy distance, it's healthy boundaries. And the advice card here with the lover's card is understanding that when, yeah, it's very important for us to be very close to our family because at the end of the day, those are the only ones that are going to be there for you when you need them the most. But at the same time, the moment you decide to get married or the moment you decide to take on um, a partnership, it's exactly that. It's a partnership and that should be your priority. So allowing other people to step into the relationship or to have a say in a relationship could be very detrimental to the partnership. So again, if you felt that that's what's been happening and little by little you started secluding each other a little bit more only because you did, you wanted to put distance or healthy boundaries, that's definitely a positive thing because I do see the connection with the partnership getting much more stronger. Um, now, again, for those of you guys that are single, the lover's card does speak about, this is your energy, at, uh, Gemini, but it's also speaking about keeping an open mind when it comes to partnerships. Perhaps throughout your life, you've had a particular type, a particular uh, person. Um, I don't want to say a specific person, but a, a particular type that you're most drawn to. And perhaps that's what has led you to always ending up like that relationship or those relationships don't progress. And what Spirit is telling you is you need to keep an open mind. You're at crossroads right now. And with these crossroads, um, obviously there is having to make choices, but as well as having opportunities because the lover's card also speaks about having to choose between two people. So again, for those of you guys that are single, I do see the opportunity for love for you guys, but again, keep an open mind. Don't be very judgmental. And if it is perhaps a particular person that is not necessarily ideal to the type you're used to dating, give yourself the opportunity because you can be very surprised and quickly find out that you guys have more things in common. Now, you do have the high priestess here, and the high priestess does speak about, um, it speaks about communication, uh, perhaps for some of you guys, you're getting guidance um, or you may be seeking guidance uh, from a spiritual person or a person that is very wise, very intuitive. For others of you, it could be that you're very much interested in a person that is very close to the esoteric or a person that is very spiritual. Um, and perhaps that could be, you know, that could be the reason why they're saying there's something about this particular person that you're not used to. Um for some of you Geminis, it could be very easy to find connections or to find people that are very open and very quick to give you attention. And perhaps this person is a little bit more mysterious, uh, a little bit more hard to read. And that for you could be a challenge. Um, so what they're saying is, again, if you feel that you guys do have a lot of things in common, pursue it. Don't get intimidated just because they're not giving you their full undivided attention. This person is more about um, earning that type of, you know, them opening up their life to you 
and earning that type of status for them to be able to, okay, I'm going to go ahead and give this person the opportunity so we can get to know each other. Um, again, usually people that tend to be spiritual are kind of, uh, I have been told that a lot, especially people that are actively pursuing someone that could be very intuitive or very spiritual, could come off as very hard to read. And that could be very frustrating for other people. But what Spirit is telling you is that it doesn't necessarily mean that there's no future here or that things cannot progress. What they're saying is perhaps you, Gemini, need to focus more on taking it easy and taking it slow. Uh, slow and steady is what wins the race. Now you do have here the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands is, again, new beginnings, opportunities. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be uh, new love in your horizon. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a fire energy, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. For others of you, you may be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, there's Pisces energy here as well, and Aries energy. So I pretty much see all the signs here. Um, but with the Ace of Wands, there is an opportunity or a passion being ignited, um, a desire being uh, starting to ferment for you and being able to, again, like I said, listen to your intuition, pay attention to that Gemini. Now, your next card here is, wow, you guys have beautiful cards. So you have the Star card here, and the Star card does speak about being able to see some type of manifestation. For some of you guys, you've been waiting to hear back in regards to finances, an opportunity, or something that has to do with um, business-wise. And what they're saying is that that communication is finally coming through, and it's going to be to the best of your interest. For others of you, it could represent being able to, again, like I said, with the conjunction that's happening with Saturn and Jupiter, it could very well represent striking luck when it comes to love and romance. But again, the advice here is don't be very hasty. Don't be very quick to make decisions or to cut people off in regards to because you feel that there is just so difficult to deal with or you don't know how to read them. What they're saying is take your time, Gemini, and you will be very surprised. It's almost like the planet alignments and the stars are aligning for you um, to meet this person and to actually open your heart up to this person. So this is a very, very beautiful reading. Now, for those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship, like I said, I think that there was a distancing or a healthy boundaries that was created. And this is this has brought you guys very much closer. I do see for some of you guys, it could be even like changing um, the way you eat. It could be like a new regimen. And it's for the betterment of both of you. And um, as well as being able to be more focused and trying to achieve goals together and on the same page. So very beautiful cards, uh, Gemini. So I'm going to be pulling out the Moonology Oracle card, and I'm going to pick one for you guys. And this is Spirit's message for you. And what they're saying is a time for healing, balsamic moon. So again, I feel that um, Geminis, you guys have been going through a lot of healing energy uh, this last month and this month as well. Uh, they're definitely talking here about a lot of healing energy, and that's something that was initially brought in this reading. A lot of healing, uh, releasing is is what they're saying, releasing a lot of the things that have been having you tied down or connected to perhaps people that are no longer in your life. For others of you, it could be like trigger points that really, truly affected you and how you view relationships. And from this healing and from this growth, you're able to fully understand your nature and fully understand what it is that you need in a partner and being wise about picking the partners that come along as well. So very, very beautiful cards for you. I hope you guys enjoyed and you guys definitely stay tuned for the January readings. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.